Uh, hi, I'm Harry Fletcher, and we did a R and D lab. 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 Yeah. Oops. All right. So our purpose was basically just to discover some interesting things about light. Uh, we were uh, our experiment. We took different filters of uh, glass, um, and sh basically shined a white light in between the light sensor and the light source, or we put the filter in between the light source and the light sensor, and, and we got a little problem in the beginning, because uh, we used, at first we planned to use a laser, and then we realized the laser was too strong for the sensor, so we started using a strong flashlight, and it turned out to be too strong too, so we ended up with being um, a lamp, using a lamp, yeah. but it, it works pretty well, we liked it. And our hypothesis is, um, as the light goes further, <coughs> the light intensity will uh, kind of decrease, and the illumination of the wait, another lab. Wait, for this lab, our uh, hypothesis. Yeah, we just thought like the darker the glass filter, the uh, less illumination would, uh, that would reach the left on the other side of the, of the filter. And the background is we got that equation there, and that is I think that's a the light intensity equation. Yeah, where E equals the illumination. It's measured in uh, lux or lumens over meter squared. Uh, the I is the intensity of the light source measured in lumens, and D is just the distance. And um, a very important part that lumen thing doesn't change. Like no matter how far the light is away from the object, they always have the same movement, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. So, better so basically this is our uh, setup. Uh, we had our light source here, our white light. Uh, then we had uh, half a meter away our light sensor, and right in between the two at about 0.25 meters, we would put our different glass filters. We had about 10 of them. And we just basically took data with Logger Pro to see the uh, illumination after each glass filter. And this is our data. So, yeah, so we'll get into yeah. visible transmittance uh, a little bit later, but uh, basically we took the illumination from the Logger Pro graph and we calculated the light intensity after it uh, reached the graph by taking the um, the amount of lumens from the light source and multiplying it by the visible transmittance. That's just some more data. And now let's talk about the visible transmittance. So basically it is uh, like the shape level of the tinted filter. And the higher transmitted transmittance it have, um, uh, and that will be the percentage of the light that's going through the glass. So the lighter will be on the other side of the filter, or like brighter it will be. And this is our generalized uh, graph. Yeah, we took uh, illumination versus uh, the light intensity. And the slope will be our uh, looping, I guess. Yeah, we uh, did error on the slope, which would be the distance. And yeah, we got. Well, hold on. Our sources of error would uh, probably be the light source not being like 900 lumens exactly. The uh, visible transmittance could have been slightly off than what it uh, read. Like each glass had a visible transmittance percentage we used, and maybe not all of the light went through the glass filter when we took data. And that's our error calculation. So yeah, we were pretty close from our graph. We uh, were off like four centimeters-ish, and uh, it was like 16% off, but well, yeah, I think the, the, error uh, the error source might be because of the, the meter stick we're using, because it was in inches. <laughs> and, uh, well, it was, it was in inches, but we calculated like how many inches we need to get that centimeter. Yeah. Like, and also the lamp, the light bulb of the lamp. I don't know how they, uh, how the, how the factory measured the lumen of it, but they marked 900 lumens on the on the light bulb. But I don't know how they measured it because you have to know like, I don't know. 
uh, I don't really know how to get it, but that's not what exactly we got, but we got a similar uh, a similar number, like 880 something. Yeah, yeah. This is close. And basically, from this lab, we learned like the higher the visible transmittance, the higher the illumination would be on the other side of the glass. Uh, we saw that the light intensity decreased after passing through a low visible transmitting light uh, filter. Yeah. And yeah, as distance increases, uh, illumination decreases all that. So yeah. basically, we just did a whole bunch of labs to prove that first equation is, well, yeah, we kind of figured that equation out, I think. <laughs> With knowing all the variables, we kind of graph that graph, and then according to that graph, like we can get that equation. So if this all happened like 200 years ago, we'll be the one who discovered that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Time for a question. Yes. Uh, I am intrigued by this uh, thing printed on the glass. What would you need to know to be able to calculate the lumens, as you said? Is so, the lumens, uh, can we go back? I think there's a graph. Is there something that the factory did know about your setup? Oh yeah, because when we get the light bulb, we, we, we use a light bulb because it says 900 lumens on the light bulb. <laughs> yeah. So how did they know that you were going to hook it up in such a way that it would have 900 lumens? Does this, doesn't it depend on the hooking up, right? I think the lumen doesn't change. Like, yeah, we, like It's always 900 lumens, but if it's farther, you see light, less light because it separates, but the total light is always 900, I think. Can I take the light bulb and put it in different circumstances and make it do different lumens? Probably yes, but I think the factory marked 900 because it's always, I mean, almost always plugged into a uh, 11, I mean, 110 volt uh, plug. You're good. I mean, you can, I, I might bring it back to China and try 220, but... You should. Yeah, I might burn it. I don't know. It would be interesting. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.